So, what happened? Well, my children and our little tiny dog were in the house and I wasn't there and I'm divorced and I had allowed my ex-husband to spend the night at my house and he thinks he left the toaster oven on. Mm. And they went to school and about an hour later the house was in flames mm. and my neighbors were screaming at the firemen to save the dog because he was actually out on the balcony. He wasn't. I don't know what happened. I know firemen are wonderful and amazing people and they couldn't save him. And not only did the dog burn in the fire, mm -hmm. but I found out from, um, they took him without me knowing. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they didn't mean to say this to upset me. Well, we lost everything. I mean, every. Right, so pause there. Okay. But how do you feel right now as you talk about it? I'm looking at your book and I'm like, oh my gosh, my book even burned. Like, mm. I don't, I didn't get to finish reading your book, you know. I'll I'm solve that <laughs> easily. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. One problem solved. Yes. What's next? Thank you. Okay. So I here's, just... what I, here's what I want to do, all right? So pause right there. And everyone out there, pick an event. So we're going to be working through an event right now. So pick something that's happened to you, whether it be recently or five years ago, ten years ago. And it, we're going to again be focusing on the stories here. But just pick that event and bring that up in your mind's eye now just for a moment. Let's, let's close our eyes and take a deep breath just for a moment. And bring that event forward in your mind's eye and just feel that in your body. Feel what's the emotion when you think about the event. Is there anxiety? Is there fear? Is there sadness? And give it a number on a 0 to 10 scale. Just pick an emotion, run the memory of the event, and give it a number. Okay? And when you have it, slowly open your eyes. And then we're going to do something, and this is one of the simplest ways to do the tapping, right? Especially in a circumstance like this. We're just going to tap and talk, right? So you can do this with a friend. You can do this with someone on the phone. You know, the, when we are expressing the things that are going on in our lives, it serves a purpose, right? The key is to express it and actually get it out of our bodies so we don't tell that same story 28 times. Right? And who's had that experience, you know, complaining about work or whatever it is over and over and over again with no resolution? And what we want is to not only clear that charge and that trauma from the body, but resolve it, find some way to find some closure or some healing from it, okay? So we're just going to tap and talk. So um, just start tapping through the points, and you can move at your own pace or you can follow me, and I want you to continue telling the story. Well, when they took the dog, um, and I finally found out where he was because we were wanting to, it was my kid's best friend, I w wanted to have his ashes, they told me that, um, that they baked him and mixed him with some food stuff and sent him to the Philippines to be eaten by other dogs or other animals. And I just wish they didn't tell me that because it's just heartbreaking to me that they didn't save him. And I mean, the fact that my, you know, I have a 13 or 14 year old and they lost everything. I mean, just everything. So was this a phone conversation? Were you in person when they told you this? It was a phone conversation. Okay. Do you remember where you were? Yes. Okay. Where were you? I was in my office, and thank God I had a client in the other room where I would have lost it. Okay. All right, so you're in your office, and what's the conversation like? Tell me how it starts. It was almost like she was trying to help me to make it seem like it was okay, you know, that the dog was doing its job for others, which, and I understand it's not his body or anything like that, but I just felt so bad that he didn't get saved, hmm. and then he just went to the Philippines to get eaten, I don't know, it just, and I couldn't tell my kids the truth, I had to make my kids think he died of smoke inhalation that he didn't burn, hmm. so, and it just, all this anger comes up. Hmm. Where do you feel that anger? Um, in my, in my chest, and in my head and I get migraine headaches and and how strong is that anger zero to ten right now 
Oh, it's a 10. I'm so angry. Okay. All right, tapping the side of the hand. Even though I have all this anger in my chest. Even though I have all of this anger in my chest. I'm so angry. I am so angry. How could they do this? How could they do this? I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have all this anger in my chest. Even though I have all of this anger in my chest. How could they do this? How could they do this? It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not right. It's not right. And I choose to relax now. And I choose to relax now. Even though I have all this anger in my body. Even though I have all this anger in my body. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I brought all this anger. All this anger. Side of the eye, in my chest. In my chest. Under the eye about what happened. About what happened. Under the nose about the dog. About the dog. Under the mouth about what they did with him. About what they did with him. Collarbone about the way they treated me. About the way they treated me. Under the arm about the things they said. About the things they said. Top of the head, all this anger. All this anger. Eyebrow in every cell in my body. In every cell in my body. Side of the eye, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Under the eye, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Under the nose, how could this happen? How could this happen? Under the mouth, how could they do this? How could they do this? Collarbone, this anger in my chest. This anger in my chest. Under the arm, it's safe to let it go. It's safe to let it go. Top of the head, right now. Right now. Deep breath. And just tune back into the anger and see where it is. Zero to ten. I would say it's about a seven. Okay. And it was everything that we said. It was like yo-yoing. Yeah. But I could see that my body was begging me to let it go. Mm. It was just certain words were coming up and it was saying, just let it's okay. Just mm. let it go. Mm. And then other words would come up and it would say, no, don't let it go. Yeah. And then, yes, let it go. So. Yeah. Okay, so what, if you had to pick one thing that you're most angry about, what would it be? That I think the universe was telling me over and over and over again to cut ties with my ex and because I care about my kids so much and wanted him to be with them and that I let him in my house again and then I did it again and it burnt down. Mm. And it just, my poor kids have lost everything. It's just, just awful, it's just awful. So you're, are you angry at yourself for that? Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I'm so angry at myself. I'm just, you know, when they say nice guys finish last, it was, I'm just mad that I just let him in my house again. Hmm. What's Sorry. that anger at right now, zero to 10? Actually, when I just said it, I'm just like, oh, don't give him power. Hmm. Just let it go. Just, you know, you did what was right at the time and you did it for your kids. Tap on the side of the hand. Even though I'm angry at myself. Even though I'm angry at myself. How could I do this again? How could I do this again? I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have all this anger. Even though I have all this anger. I can't believe I did this again. 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 If I hadn't done this. If I hadn't done this. My kids would have their house. My kids would have their house. They wouldn't have lost everything. They wouldn't have lost everything. And I'm so angry about this. And I'm so angry about this. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have so much anger. Even though I have so much anger. How could I do this again? How can I do this again? How could I do this again? How could I do this again? I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Eyebrow, how could I do this again? How can I do this again? Side of the eye, how did this happen? How did this happen? Under the eye, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Under the nose, the universe gave me signals. The universe gave me signals. Under the mouth, and I wasn't listening. And I wasn't listening. Collarbone, and I'm so angry about that. I'm so angry about that. Under the arm, all this anger. All this anger. Top of the head, towards myself. Toward myself. I brought towards what I did. Towards what I did. Side of the eye, this anger in my body. This anger in my body. Under the eye, it's safe to let it go. Safe to let it go. Under the nose, I choose to release this anger. I choose to release this anger. Under the mouth, right now. Right now. Collarbone, letting it go. Letting it go. Under the arm, letting all this anger go. Letting all this anger go. Top of the head, right now. 
right now. Deep breath. It's funny because I almost have like a sense of gratitude now that, mm. you know, it's like baptismal through fire or something and I can just rebuild and start all over. Mm. So I would, I'm about a two. Two in anger? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me about the dog again. I just think that for whatever reason, this had to happen, and then I, I believe that we choose when we die, and for whatever reason, the dog chose to leave when it left. I just hope he wasn't, you know, in that much pain, but I know he was. I heard it all from my neighbors. I heard mm -hmm. the gruesome story, so. But for whatever reason, I have to believe that everything works out perfectly, and I don't know why. I just. I just feel like this is one of those moments that my kids are going to take into their adulthood and have therapy because of, you know, in their adulthood. And I'm like, oh, geez. Mm. You can tap with them now on it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I actually do tapping with my kids. So. Right. right. Tell me about what they said to you about the dog. And, and you can see this is part of the process, right? We want to, it's not like I'm trying to just aggravate her for the no, sake of aggravating her, but we're, we're testing, right? We want to make sure that when we clear something out, it's not just that we moved on from the issue. We want to just keep testing it. I think that, I really do think that the woman that was telling me the story was trying to make me feel better mm -hmm. as if that his life is, you know, I mean, by him barking, he actually saved someone's life. They got out. Oh. So it's like he saved, he was like a, a hero, and now he's actually going on to nourish other people. And I think that's the way that she meant to say it mm -hmm. to me. And, I, and there's a part of me that believes that. Yeah. 